wasted enough of our time. It is time to clean house. The drama in Loudoun County, Virginia is continuing now that the district's former superintendent has been indicted and parents are demanding changes from the embattled school board. Former Superintendent Scott Ziegler was indicted over conduct related to the district's handling of two sexual assaults that occurred last year on school grounds. His spokesman was also indicted for perjury. Fed up parents blasted the Loudoun School Board for focusing on a liberal agenda and covering up the assaults for political reasons. Stop pushing pronouns and equity and start focusing on your core mission of educating children and keeping them safe. On the last note, every one of you that st stood and protected Ziegler, you guys all need to resign now. Two young girls were sexually assaulted. The second assault could have been prevented. In one of the two sexual assaults that occurred last year, a male student in women's clothing attacked a female student in a women's bathroom. Loudon then transferred the male student to another high school where he committed another assault. The father of the first assault victim was arrested at a school board meeting last summer after getting heated when the now indicted superintendent denied any record of the attack on his daughter. He said this week that more Loudoun County school officials should be removed. This is just the beginning. This isn't the end. Our victory, you know, is, will be short lived if we don't get the school board to make major changes like step down. Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin won election as a Republican in a blue state by speaking out about parental frustrations with school boards like the one in Loudoun. The board has continued resisting many of the changes demanded by parents. Sarah Westwood for the Washington Examiner.